welcome to Karat, and welcome to the official My Games Lounge video review of Far Cry 4 with me, Respawn Moscow. This is the latest open world release from Ubisoft, following on from one of the best games of 2012 in Far Cry 3. The series is back with another mentally unstable villain, a vast and beautiful open world to explore and so much to see and do, but does it live up to the standards of its predecessor? Well actually it's more of the same in the best possible way, and like they say where I'm from, if it ain't broke, don't fix you it. And I are gonna tear shit up! Far Cry 4 is absolutely beautiful, from the moment you're on the bus at the beginning heading to Karat, to the times you're flying around through the mountains in your wingsuit, or even just walking and talking with the people of the country. Everything is beautifully created, the detail is stunning in the environment and the characters. Graphically, this game really does jump off your screen. On the PlayStation 4 version I used to review the game, the frame rate remained very consistent throughout my playthrough, with the odd dip during a few of the more explosive moments, otherwise it was very stable. The odd collision detection issue did spoil the immersion slightly when you grab above a rock as you're climbing up onto a ledge, but other than those minor details, very little breaks the immersion here, and the overall visual style of the game really helps to create a living, breathing land with wild animals that will come and attack you, oppressed and scared people that will come to you for help, and obviously the voice of Pagan Min who's played by Troy Baker and once again he gets the character spot on. Everything about the visuals and the sound in Far Cry 4 really do get you sucked right in and you may find it very difficult to leave. On the surface the story is a simple one, AJ Gali is the lead character of the game you control and he's come back to Karat to spread his mother's ashes. Pagan Min is the maniacal leader of Karat and the people are in rebellion in the form of the Golden Path. Pagan soon takes you in, shows you how ruthless he is and leaves you looking for a way out. Soon you're taken in by Sabal who leads you to the Golden Path and the people trying to free Karat. From this point the game is all about how you choose to fight and what direction you think Karat should go down, with the choices of who to support. You're rescuing the traditionalist Sabal, or the more realistic Amita who wants Karat to thrive, even if it means doing some more underhanded things. As you explore the land, and more of the story, it will take you down the route of seeing Pagan Min's lieutenants. These are across the land, but they're, to be honest, particularly forgettable. They have their moments, but none of them really live up to the quality set by Troy Baker's Pig and Min, who really steals the show as the character. Still, you will care about the people of Karat, and I found myself really wanting to do the right thing by them, and that was what really sucked me into the world and the plot. The game also offers you a number of choices, some obvious and some not so obvious, but these do directly affect the ending of the game and there's a lot to get out of the story and more than initially meets the eye. What makes Far Cry 4 really great is the options of gameplay. It employs these in all situations. In combat, you can play the game like a first person shooter, jump on an elephant, ride into battle and shoot your way to victory. Or you can use a more stealthy approach, take people down quickly and quietly and avoid setting off alarms and becoming detected. There's also different options with navigation. You can get around the open world and walk, which leaves you open to a few attacks by both soldiers and wild animals. Or you can use some of the different vehicles, including a very cool mini helicopter. But there's also the most fun way of getting around for me, and that's to get to the top of the biggest mountain you can and use your wing shoot and a parachute. Awesome. As a new addition you also have a grappling hook to climb the large mountainous regions and it comes in very handy if it is a touch awkward to use at times. Open worlds are obviously Ubisoft's thing at the moment and they have a very good and generally good structure to them but what works so well for Far Cry 4 is the integration between all of the elements of the game. Everything you do in the world feels like it is making some form of difference to the people within it, whether that's liberating the towers, taking over the bases and defending them from enemy attacks, helping out all the other characters with their problems, or exploring the history of Karat by taking trips to Shangri-La. All of this feels part of the overall same goal, rather than you just going off and doing something random. Being a living world, you can also come across various animals that will really go for you should you be spotted. Tigers, bears and rhinos provide a tough challenge to survive and encounter with, 
but as with Far Cry 3, I personally find some of these encounters particularly annoying, as shooting certain animals has no effect whatsoever, especially the super annoying badges. Still, the main game is so much fun with a vast map just full of things to do around the campaign, and with a solid co-op mode and a PvP multiplayer mode, there's a lot of fun and there's an additional stuff to the game if the multiplayer isn't enough to buy the game alone for. There's plenty for you to come back for more, especially to unlock some of those interesting skills and weapons. I recognise those eyes anywhere. So is Far Cry 4 as good as Far Cry 3? Well it's actually very similar, it's a first person shooter with action adventure in a fantastic and beautiful open world, there's lots to do and there's lots to enjoy. The game is just as good for me, but maybe some of the characters in the main story do let it down in comparison with the outstanding characters in Far Cry 3, but some of the twists and turns you'll find are lots of fun and the missions that you can get involved with and plenty of Pagan Min and his crazy attitude, there really is a lot to enjoy here. It's certainly Ubisoft's best game of the year and it's no doubt a contender for one of the best games of 2014 overall. For more Far Cry 4 and for more of the biggest and best games coming out this year and next year, get yourself onto mygameslounge.com and come and join the games.